This week we're talking all about necklines, a continuation from last week's video. But before I get into today's video, make sure you definitely thumbs up and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell if you like content that's all about fashion, image and branding. I always like to say that we are all brands within ourselves and hopefully my content will help you understand exactly what that means so you can apply that whether that's in a personal or professional setting. By branding, I'm talking more about, you know, the visual elements in terms of how you come across your sense of style and your presentation, which is very much related to today's video where we're gonna talk all about necklines. However, quick disclaimer in regards to necklines, I'm gonna talk about, you know, maybe seven different types of necklines, but there's way more out there. Just as you know, you guys can see right now on screen, there's way more out there. Necklines are the ones that I'm gonna talk about today. And also I'm gonna relate them to specific body shapes. Again, with body shapes, this is just guidance. It's also, you know, taking into consideration how you wanna come across the kind of silhouette that you wanna create for yourself, right? Even if you're an hourglass, you might like an inverted triangle. By inverted triangle, I'm, th I'm talking more around, if you think YSL, the, you know, the kind of blazers and coats that they're coming out with or that they've been coming out with in the last, you know, past seasons again that might be the silhouette that you like so again it's all about taking into consideration how you want to come across first of all come across for yourself you know before you even think about you know how are people going to perceive me so self you know that self-perception is a great anchor in terms of you know building out your personal brand as I said, guys, I'm gonna to stick to lucky number seven in terms, you know, seven dips and different types of necklines that you guys can apply. And in no particular order, I'm gonna start off with a V-neck. V-necks work well, particularly if you have more of a round or an apple shape. Why do I say this? Usually people that have, you know, more of like a round or an apple shape have you know carry more weight around like the midsection and what a v-neck does it kind of draws attention away from that midsection so for example if i do this right you're looking at me this way and that's essentially what a v-neck does it draws attention away from the midsection and you know makes you look at me going up and that's exactly what you want to create with this kind of you know neckline and you know in terms of how you would you know style this i'll say think about something that's a little bit more tailored so you know tailored trousers that are high-waisted or skirts because what it does you know alongside you know you wearing let's say your v-neck top with the you know uh high-waisted trousers it kind of creates a more elongated frame and again, that just kind of helps create more balance and draws attention away from the midsection. So a tip that you can apply, especially if you have, you know, a round or an apple shape. Up next is scoop necklines. I also love scoop necklines, even though, you know, when you look at my body shape and might not be ideal. However, you know, in terms of what body shape would usually work for this, I would say more of like a pear shape. So if you have more like a triangle shape, right? This, uh, this type of neckline would work well for you. Why do I say that? Because it elongates, you know, this part, right? So if you're big at the bottom, the idea again is to be able to create balance. So if you know, if your hips are quite wide and you want to create balance with the upper body, you'd uh, look at a, a scoop neckline because it kind of like makes this part wider and then it creates balance between the top and the bottom. So in terms of styling, right, when you think about, okay, how would I then go about styling this? I would say, you know, look for a top, you know, that is structured, but then that has that scoop and then, you know, pair, you know, consider pairing it with, you know, statement accessories. The idea is to be able to create the volume, sorry, not volume, but to be able to focus on, you know, here. So you might want to add like a chunky neck, a necklace or something again, so that it draws attention away from the hips and more towards the top. So when people look at you, they look this way, not that way. Again, the idea is to be able to create balance. So if you're somebody that wants to draw attention away from your hips, think about, you know, wearing that scoop neckline and think about, you know, adding accessories so that the gaze becomes at the top half of your body as opposed to the bottom. Up next is, you know, an off shoulder moment, kind of similar to what I'm wearing right now. And this is perfect for anyone that has more of an hourglass shape. Here's the thing with hourglass, it's usually quite balanced, but you know, when you have like an off shoulder moment, what you're essentially doing, it kind of adds, you know, extra focus on the shoulder, right? So as you guys look, you'll be looking this way, right? This part. Right, so it just kind of adds, you know, that extra focus around the shoulder. And it's very good, for example, if you don't want people to sort of like focus on certain parts, because then the focus will then start from here, right? It's just a few seconds in terms of the gaze, right? And then like people will then look or, you know, 
Uh, if somebody's looking at you, then it'll be like the rest of the body. But the idea is to be able to draw attention to this part um, of, of your body. And in terms of how you could style this, right, you can, you know, highlight your waist if you wanted to, you know, with something that's fitted and then, you know, an off shoulder top or a dress. I'll give you guys an example based upon the outfit that I'm wearing today in terms of, you know, just putting that extra focus around, you know, the, like the shoulder part. And it's also a great way to be able to accentuate your shoulders as well as, you know, your waist when you're thinking about, you know, wearing something that's fitted, but also kind of shows off your shoulders. Up next has to be a boat neckline. And this is great for somebody that has more of like a rectangle shape. And when you think about, you know, the shape rectangle, it's usually somebody that, you know, has equal shoulders, waist and hips. So the idea is to be able to create a bit more curves, right? Balance, but with curves, you know. So the boat neckline essentially does that for you because essentially what it does, right? It kind of gives the appearance of, you know, having more curves. I'll give you guys an example right now on screen so you can see exactly what I mean in terms of, you know, just giving that illusion of having more curves at, you know, the upper part of your body. So in terms of like solutions from a styling perspective, so now that you guys have a better understanding in terms of, you know, giving that illusion of having more curves at the upper body, what you want to do is to be able to create balance. So how do you then, you know, accentuate the rest of the body? So think about, you know, something that kind of nips in at the waist or adding a belt to create more curves. So that's a way in terms of, you know, how you can style an outfit to be able to create more curves and balance as well. Up next is a halter neck, which is perfect for someone that has more of an inverted triangle of if this is the kind of silhouette that you're trying to create. Why do I say this is because, you know, usually when somebody has more of like an inverted triangle shape, they have like broader shoulders and, you know, narrow hips. So essentially with, you know, something that's a little bit more halter, it draws attention inwards you know towards like the center and then it kind of reduces the attention here so you kind of looking at me from this specific angle I'll, I'll put an, an example on screen right now so you guys can see exactly what i mean by that so it kind of like de-emphasizes you know the shoulders and creates more proportions to the silhouette again if you're trying to create that balance and you know move away from the default uh inverted triangle this will be a great way to be able to incorporate that and in terms of you know how would you then go about styling you know, styling with the idea of also creating balance. I would say, you know, you could pair that halter neck with, you know, fuller skirt, you know, or wider pants, you know, wide leg pants, because what this does is then it creates that balance, you know, between, you know, the upper body as well as, you know, the bottom half of your body, right? So creating more of a balance within your frame. Um, and this combination not only flatters your body, but also, you know, conveys, you know, that confidence and that boldness, um, you know, that, you know, obviously can have, you know, a strong impact on your personal brand as well. Up next would be a square neckline. And this is perfect for somebody that's a little bit more petite, especially if you want to look taller. Why do I say this? Because if you think about a square neckline, essentially what it does, it opens up the chest area. And this is, you know, for the ladies, gents, if you want to dress like this, why not? Um, but, you know, the frames of men are slightly different. However, you can always apply these tips depending on how you want to come across. So what it does, as I was saying, right, it opens up the chest area and then it also makes the torso look longer and leaner giving that illusion of you know you girl you are tall <laughs> and then you know from a solution perspective in terms of how would you then go about styling this i would say you know think about you know combining that square neckline with you know something that's you know high-waisted trousers or skirts to elongate the body again to give that illusion that you're tall and to also create b balance you know in terms of you know um how your torso would then look as well as you know your overall body shape again your body shape might be inverted triangle it might be an hourglass even as petite but you know it just kind of gives you you know the illusion that you are tall Seeing though that we're in autumn, I thought to end of this video, why don't I talk about, you know, turtlenecks. Turtlenecks work perfectly well, especially great if you're somebody that has more of like a leaner, longer figure, right? If your figure is quite long, because what this does, you know, when you think about turtlenecks is, you know, a set of them, you know, keeping you warm, right? They also give that illusion of, you know, balance because they balance out your proportion, right? Especially if you have like a longer neck. 
again so thinking about all of that in terms of the kind of silhouette that you want to create so in terms of you know a solution for styling how would you go about styling a turtleneck you can obviously wear it the way that you want but if you're somebody that has more of like a leaner longer figure and you're looking for ideas in terms of how to style it i would say you know think about you know pairing you know that turtleneck with um structured outerwear like a blazer or a jacket to create more of that sophisticated look which then adds you know depth to your personal brand so guys those were the seven necklines i wanted to share with you today let me know down below which one you know you're looking forward to trying or which one you already have in your wardrobe again guys you know as always make sure you definitely thumbs up and subscribe if you like content that's all about fashion and branding and you know that gives you tips in terms of how you can elevate your personal brand visually also, I wanted to end off with outfit of the day, but I wanted to style this specific dress, you know, in different ways that you guys can see how I play around with different necklines. I do have a video on this where I'm styling this dress in white, because I have the exact same dress in a different color, white that is. But you know, just for a little bit of fun and to end off the video, these are all the different ways that I've created different necklines with this particular dress. Let me know down below which one was your favorite. Again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next week, bye for now.